this is just, it's kind of frivolous, but it's also super cool. Uh, we have the ability to bring LFO1 in to uh, also control the VCA. Let's see what happens, sweetie. So let us set that to a square wave and guess what you get? You get that really great organ sound that used to be uh, sort of a the, an attempt to sound like a mandolin or something. And you could probably fake that one who song. Anyway, uh, no, having the LFO able to control um, the amp allows you several really cool things that, I mean, just right off the bat, you're like, oh, oh, that's for tremolo, which we can definitely do. But in some ways, that is a very boring <laughs> application of this modern day LFO. Okay, I've turned up the left right phase. So now we're getting uh, a stereo sort of outcome from the amp. Which you could use uh, like speed wise. If you wanted to emulate a sort of Leslie effect, you could work on that. And of course, there are different modulations that could happen to LFO1 as it is a destination in our mod section. So you could actually control uh, LFO1 to act like a Leslie as it is controlling the amp, which is super cool. But that's not the only thing you could do. You could switch it to random. Oh, let's turn off the face. There's a lot more going on now because of the variations in amplitude polyphonically introduced by LFO set to random as it controls the amp. Ooh, and let's hear a left right phase with that. That is really cool. Let us also not forget <laughs> that we can set the LFO to once and then basically let's put it on uh, what? We'll put it on a sawtooth. Let's take off the left right face. Now we have another envelope controlling the amplitude of the VCA. So uh, if we go over to, uh, let's put the envelope to on something really straightforward. And then bring in LFO1 set to a sawtooth, also set to the once mode. So LFO1 is actually acting like a simple envelope generator. You can hear that the really boring uh, sustain, which should just be giving you an on off, now is affected by the LFO giving you a kind of little envelope. So you, right now we're using envelope two as a sort of attack transient. And then LFO1, which is now set to a triangle, is giving us an envelope shape. And then we could mix. Let's see if we can make it sound. So with the sustain, I'm allowing the LFO's envelope to be heard. 
uh, after the VCA has done its thing. You hear that kind of echo where we have the intense attack of envelope two, and then we have a little surge that comes from the triangle envelope created by LFO one through this LFO one uh, ability to control the amp, which is super effing awesome, if I may say. Uh, do I have to change the rating on this video now that I've said that? I don't know. Anyway, and we're not done because, uh, I don't know if you know this, but amplitude modulation, uh, which we often think of as tremolo, uh, can also be a clangorous effect when the modulation is done by an audio range oscillator. It sounds very much like ring modulation, well, similar to ring modulation. So if we go over to LFO1, we can actually switch LFO1 into the audio range. Now it is controlling uh, our amplitude, giving us amplitude modulation. Now I don't have it set up. Let's, here's, what, here's what we're working with just as the normal envelope. Wow, it's coming through even though it is not set to. That's interesting. Where are we getting some bleed? We're getting bleed somehow. Oh, it's because, <laughs> because it's coming through um, in our mix. Because when you put it into the high frequency range, it is then directed to uh, the output of the oscillator. So... So, I'm going to switch this to just oscillator too, so we can't hear it. And then, there's our nice sedate oscillator amplitude mod modified by an envelope controlling a VCA. And let us introduce the excitement that is LFO1 in the audio range affecting the amp. which is a cool effect. Uh, but imagine if we put it into high frequency track. Which then has the keyboard controlling the frequency of the LFO in audio range as it audio modulates the VCA. <laughs> And you don't have to have it as high as I did. You can really thicken up a sound if it's just really subtle. Okay, so we did get a little bit outside of the VCA there, but you have to hear that sound because that's, that's a really cool output. So, you know, people keep on saying, so is this thing just basically a Juno? <laughs> I have to say, you know, I know why people would think that because you've got oscillators and the VCF and the VCA and envelopes and there's some similarities, you know, in appearance. But the way that UDO has designed this, all of these functions are incredibly more connected to the other functions and multiply 
their abilities by a very great deal, absolutely dwarfing <laughs> any Juno and leaving it in the dust. Uh, so no, this is not <laughs> anything like a Juno, really. So LFO-1's control of the VCA goes far beyond, far beyond simply here's a way to add tremolo. So keep that in mind as you are taking into consideration all of the many ways this VCA could be used. I feel like this is the longest VCA video I've ever done. I don't know if that's true. Anyway, uh, so this is the VCA on the UDO Super 6. Thank <laughs> you. 